Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo's home of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here on what might be my favorite day of news in the entire year. Yes, today on this auspicious 1st of April, we hath collected from down on high the greatest and obviously most true stories we've ever done. So while some of these stories might seem unbelievable or fantastic in nature, I ask you to suspend your disbelief for the next few minutes and let me take you on a journey through the supercar community. Beard Nation, let's get to work. First up today, guys, uh, a staggering turn of events has resulted in Whistlin' Diesel changing his name to Whistlin' Daisies, announcing via Instagram that he will sell all of his vehicles, uh, renouncing the moniker that made him a YouTube sensation. Oh, and Justin, guys, uh, we do have a quote d directly from him. Uh, simply, I I will become the tree. I, I don't I don't know what that means. It sounds pretty serious, though. Uh, so get ready for brand new content in in the form of nature from Whistling Daisies. I, I know it sounds unbelievable, but that's that's what the news is, guys. Uh, next up, guys, we have a major uh, announcement from Stradman partnering with Jeffree Star to announce they have a new makeup line together. It seems after the uh, massive success of their collaborations on Jeffree Star's car collections over the last year, this partnership needed to happen. And we have a quote right here, guys, from Stradman saying it was a match made in YouTube heaven. Uh, interesting enough, guys, we do have a sampling of the new palette being released by Star and Stradman uh, with colors including Purple Fusion, and Oscar Pup Delight, and apparently one called Lamborghini Sunrise. That one sounds pretty interesting. Well, we don't have word yet on how much the palette will cost, we imagine it will be somewhere around the price of an average Texas Roadhouse dinner. Feel free to leave in the comments below, guys, which color are you most excited about? I have a feeling Purple Fusion is gonna be a real hit. Next up, guys, this just in, a hot off the presses, a massive news out of the Daily Driven Exotics camp. Apparently, DDE will become DCD. DCD obviously standing for Daily Cave Diving. Spelunking apparently has been a longtime passion of Damon and Dave. And while it's definitely a departure from the normal content we've seen on their YouTube channels, I imagine they'll approach it with the same ferocity and passion they've done on the internet as a whole over the last couple years. We're also hearing at this point that Damon has been uh, throwing out the phrase number one uh, cave diving ambassadors on the internet. Uh, I guess we knew that was coming pretty quick. I guess the only question remains to ask you guys, the audience, is what do you think about spelunking and do you want to see David and Damon do it. Let me know in the comments below. Well, guys, uh, just just in, we're getting news about TJ Hunt now. Apparently, he's leaving YouTube altogether to pursue a professional underwater basket weaving career. Apparently, changing the name of one of his companies from Hunt & Co. to Basket & Co., it will now no longer sell apparel, but simply underwater basking materials for enthusiasts such as yourselves. Unknown whether or not there will be a big crossover in enthusiasm from the millions of fans that follow the TJ Hunt channel, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be following these new underwater basket weaving videos he is said to be producing? Next up, guys, a big news announced earlier this morning from the Savage Garage channel saying that they're now doing a huge partnership with Girl Scout, specifically Girl Scout cookies. Their new line of cookies obviously being called Savage Cookies. Uh, apparently the new flavors are supposed to be modeled after different exhausts from Lamborghini to Ferrari. No word yet on whether the cookies will actually taste good. Apparently the Food and Drug Administration is already looking into the toxicity levels of said Savage Cookies. We'll make sure to keep you guys up to date on what's happening with this breaking new story. Next up guys, Burlacker announcing that he is going to be a vegan from now on, saying no more Texas Roadhouse ever. Also adding that he desires to live off of only wheat, grass, celery, and hummus. I'm not sure how good of a diet that will be, but knowing Burlacker's reputation with Texas Roadhouse, this is a truly sad event. We obviously wish Burlacker the best in his new non-animal byproduct lifestyle. We support you, sir. Next up, guys, out of nowhere, Shmi putting the giant announcement up on Facebook earlier today. He's moving 
to the United States, specifically to Nashville, Tennessee. Saying that after his long US tour, he knew he belonged in the heartland of America. And additionally, guys, a very interesting quote here about why he chose Nashville, Tennessee specifically, saying he's always loved moonshine and country music and Nashville has the best of both those worlds. Obviously, Nashville will be happy to have such a legendary automotive figure living in their town. Next up, guys, Rob Dom announcing it in a shock move, he'll be returning to The Bachelorette, uh, saying he wants to vie for Katie and Michelle's affection. A truly stunning reversal after his years working on cars for the YouTube community will be sorry to see him leave, but wish him the best with both ladies. Good luck, Rob. We're all rooting for you. Next up, guys, a surprise move from one of the largest automotive personalities on YouTube, Doug DeMuro, uh, after the success of his website, Cars and Bids launching a secondary website called Jars and Lids where he'll be auctioning off antique bell jars. Uh, no word yet on what the market will look like for such a niche item, but if anyone can do it, it's gonna be Doug DeMuro. Uh, additionally saying that he'll be talking about all the quirks and features of these jars and lids going forward. Next up guys, uh, shocking and stunning news from the Tall Guy Car Reviews channel. Uh, this, is, this is pretty crazy. Apparently, Tall Guy Car Reviews are taking to Instagram to announce that he's been hit by a sudden growth spurt late in life, growing an additional two feet in the course of only a week. Uh, no word yet on what actually we're hearing right now. Uh, the, the Tall Guy Car Reviews channel will be changed to just Taller Guy Car Reviews, simply that. Obviously, we wish him the best. Uh, the health concerns here are dramatic in scope, but if anyone can pull off an additional two feet on his frame, Taller Guy Car Reviews certainly can. Next up guys, uh, incredible news coming out of the Drag Times camp right now. Uh, after having so many successful videos uh, documenting the performance of different McLarens, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, you name it, uh, Drag Times channel announcing earlier today uh, via YouTube he will be starting a secondary site uh, focused on animals this will be called Gerbil Times. Apparently doing high level documentation of gerbil times on a drag strip. No word yet on what PETA will have to say about this obviously weird animal thing. But I'll tell you, if anyone can make this work, Drag Times is the channel to do. So make sure to go check it out, guys. We'll have a link for his Gerbil Times video somewhere in our description. Next up, guys, stunning and shocking news out of the Goon Squad camp. Apparently, after seven months of high-level home uh, restoration and work, they have announced they have a new house-flipping show on HGTV and will be leaving behind cars forever back on YouTube. Goon Squad making it well known. They plan to become the next power duo in the home restoration and house flipping area on TV. We obviously wish them the best, although we'll be very sad to see them leave cars forever. Next up guys, just crazy news uh, out of Manny Koshman's YouTube channel announcing earlier today he's selling his entire incredible fleet of hypercars to buy a number of vintage PT cruisers. Apparently Apparently these PT cruisers will be in collaboration with Hermes. Uh, I'm very excited to see what that's going to look like. Uh, no word yet on how his massive YouTube audience will react to this large shift in, in car focus. I for one will be very sad to see him get rid of his McLaren P1, one of my favorite cars, but I have complete faith in Manny Koshman to make PT cruisers something that people will actually want. And last but certainly not least today on this 100% true news day, we have just a bad story out of the Vin Wiki camp. Uh, Ed Bullion taking to Instagram earlier today to launch a second website called Chin Wiki, specifically designed to talk about different chin stories. We have a quote here from Ed Bullion saying he's always had more passion for chins than cars and that eventually Vin Wiki will cease to exist and only Chin Wiki will be there going forward. No word yet on how the massive million plus subscriber base will react to this drastic change in 
content. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, I had to have a little bit of fun with today's video. Uh, there are very few times when I get to use my sort of creative prowess to have fun with news stories. April 1st is definitely one of those days. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't think this was real. That would be extraordinarily sad. Maybe check a calendar if you did. But anyway, have a great rest of your day. We'll have normal news returning tomorrow, guys, on our way to 100 actual episodes in a row. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. And remember to laugh a little bit out there, not to take any of this kind of stuff too seriously. We'll catch you later. Bye.